Right, we're out here at Dawlish Warren Golf Club. We've got Matt. Hello, Matt. Hello. Um, I've got a feel question we're going to talk about today. So we're about my six iron distance out. I've got two of them. And I just want you to, um, let's just show you what I mean. I want you to think about feel. So I'm my beefy six iron out. And what I mean by that, so AP1 cast, big cavity back to forge. So really cast the forge. Can you feel a difference? And what does that actually mean? Because the trouble is in golf is there's so many um, terms that are used as definites when they're actual feels and then defining what feel is, is so personal to the person. So if I hit one with this, so that's my beefcake six. To me, the flight is different, which obviously makes me bring ideas of what this club does, but it feels well, I think it sounds different, which then in turn makes me feel different. Let me hit one with my forged iron. So obviously I've got a visual of what, you know, looks different to me. Yeah. And it definitely feels different. But again, see what I mean? Even though I, we all do it, that definitely feels different. But what does that actually mean? <laughs> Because is that not just the sound? I mean, do you? I mean, you can hit one with mine as well. Do you reckon it's the sound, or do you reckon if you take things like sound looks away, do you reckon I would still be able to tell the difference between these two clubs? I do. Like you asking me that straight off, I think that's like a silly question, and I think yeah, I can feel the difference. So like, you think... how can I not feel the difference between what's meant to be a soft club and a harder club, for instance? Um, so I think that I would be able to feel the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but like you say, there's so many other things, sound, looks, flights that you're looking at, that is it just a combination of everything that's making it easier? Why don't you hit two, because you've not hit my beef one, No, you? I haven't, Just no. to feel the contrast Am I allowed in the to hit two? these? Yeah, yeah, you can hit <laughs> Think you can feel the difference there? I, I, I'm gonna say yes. Okay. <laughs> like, I just feel like I can. Yeah, so through um, your hands, as you hit it off the face, yeah. it feels like it you It feels can... different. And I, I feel like, through teaching and things, like I'm calling where the person's hitting it. So how can I not hit it and feel it as well and feel the difference and stuff like that I just find it hard to forge cast harder softer like surely these can work now <laughs> okay well I'm gonna throw that back at you then so I can be at the computer changing a field yeah you know like six iron to seven iron um, and I can tell what strike they've hit I saw you've towed that one a bit of you yeah but I'm not looking you're not looking yeah I'm just all I've got is ears yeah. Which makes you think if I can call strike by not even seeing, like I do it with Fanula, we're practicing in the bays at the range, she's behind me, I hear a good one, I say that sounds like a good one for Fanula, and I look up to see where it's gone. I can tell what, you, what strike you've hit without seeing it. Yeah. We need to, rev let's take, let's go to Torquay and don't get distracted if our clothes change. <laughs> we're going to see Uncle Dan. And I'm going to strip some of your senses away. Hello, Dan. Hello. I've posed Boys. the question to Matthew. We have questions. I love questions. Yeah. <laughs> About feel. What can you feel? What is feel in a golf club from a forged to, say, a cast? It's a big kind of, I would mm. say it's quite a big buying decision. Yeah, 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 for sure. Should I get forged? Am I good enough for forged? Because obviously yeah. it relates often to small heads. Um, can I play them, you know, more speed, less yeah. speed, always. Well, there's many different ideas around it. 
So we're going to test the feel idea, and I've got a little test for you that might be funny. You ready for this? I'm ready. Is your mind open, Dan? I'm ready. Mm, it's always open. It's always <laughs> open. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. I've got a Titleist AP1. Okay. That is cast. Yeah. Happy with that? I'm happy with that. Cast, cast. iron. I've got a Titleist MB. Both six irons. This being a forged MB, muscle back bladed club. Forged the cast. Both six irons. Both the same length, yeah. exactly the same grip, same shaft. Yeah. All intents and purposes, they're as close as I can get these two clubs, apart from one is forged, one is cast, and then obviously there'll be a loft discrepancy between the two as well, yeah. which will be interesting to see if that affects any feel. But that's not all I've got. You have more? Hold that for us. I have some noise cancelling Beats ah. headphones that connect to my phone. You have Ooh. to choose from my music library. <laughs> <laughs> Will I know what they are? No. <laughs> um, so I'll pass you those. Yeah. Balaclava hat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cover the eyes. Okay, can't see, can't hear. And a wig. To cover eyes as well for double eye protection. <laughs> so we're going to go blind and no hearing. So we're removing vision. Yeah. So you won't know what club you're hitting. Good. And yeah. I'm removing sound. So you won't have the audible sound to help you feel yeah. what's happened. I'll talk you through how we, because it's quite hard to hit when you can't see it. It'll take, it might take a few goes or not. Um, might miss it. Yeah, you tend to fin and duff a few. Yeah, I tend I to, but you do. You get into a rhythm, but we'll we'll show you. The question is, what do we do to him <laughs> now, Matt? Let <laughs> <laughs> his leg it. Yeah, leave him there. <laughs> right. So I'm now going to put him in position. Can you hear me, Dan? Yeah, just, yeah. Um, I'm going to give you a club. Can you see anything? No, absolutely nothing. Okay. It's quite warm under here. So, yeah, it does get hot. I'm going to give you a club. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to choose the music to start for you. Because I feel like we're just going to need... What should we get? Oh, my ears are a little sensitive in my old age. All we're right. going gonna to have this song. It's a great song. Right, so, the ball... You set your grip. Yeah. The ball is here. Yeah. So yeah. So you try. Your club now is touching the ball. So stand to the club. So you're now ready to hit, basically. Okay. You're a tiny bit close, I would say, Danny boy. Yeah. So your club is right near the ball. Okay. I will touch you on the shoulder like this. Yeah. When you're ready to swing. Okay. Okay. Have you got any idea what club you've got? Absolutely nothing. I'm going to play the music now. Are you ready? Yeah. Music on? Get oh. <laughs> <laughs> out. Losing his wig. He's losing his wig. I'll put it back on. <laughs> Keep your hair on, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm going to tap. You, are you there? Yeah, he's in there. Yeah. Right, are you ready, Matt? Here yeah. we go. Struck it. Right, don't touch anything. Okay, let go. I've turned the music off. You can hear me. Yeah. Um, do you know what club you hit there? I don't even think I hit the ball, do I? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try another one then. Right, here's the club. And I'll put the music on and tap you in a minute, alright? Yeah. Can you see? Very, very loud. Can you see? No. Has to be loud or you can. Right, the music's coming, Dan. Okay. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> what was oh, that? Oh, strikes. Yeah, not bad strike that. Right, say that. Hang on. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> There he is, look! <laughs> Down the man. Let me turn the music off. Right, music off. Yeah. You've done well there. We can hit more if you want. <clears throat> Definitely didn't feel like I hit much on the first one. Okay, you hit them both very equal. Really? Yeah. It's good shots. Were they? Um, no, absolutely no idea. Like, I didn't even feel like I hit a ball with the first one. Yeah. So that was, I don't know what happened there. And then the second one just felt a bit thin. 
Yeah, the second one, they were both verging on the fin, weren't they? I thought the first was better than the second. Did you? I what, thought strike the second was definitely thinner. Def second, I remember being thin. Yeah. I can't remember the first one. First, first one went more good. right, second one went left. So that must be the second one. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the second one went left. Okay. So you, so for you to make a call on what club you were hitting, you would have to guess. Yeah, complete and then guess. It's, then it's 50-50, so it's kind of... Yeah, a absolutely no no idea whatsoever. Yeah, so I kind of feel like you shouldn't guess because like, yeah. now it's not proving anything, is it? It'd be more just him going well, red or black, and yeah. It? yeah, Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I honestly, I couldn't feel anything at all from Which it. is kind of what you said on camera at the start, but then when we talked a bit more, like before we started working together, like take you back mm. five, six years, yeah. I would guess that you would have said you could feel or definitely, definitely. Like it, I, I've had um, blades in the past, and I've had cavity back in the past, and I would always, you know, you would always think the forged club, cat the blade generally, would be the softer feeling one of the two. Yeah. Um, As in feel. feel. Um, but since I've done my, f been more involved with fitting and more involved with you guys working, it's it's like. I, I see it more sound now. You'll hear it more sound. Hear, yeah, people, yeah. Hear, people hear the acoustics of the club slightly you know, differently. And, and um, so I think that has more of an impact rather than the actual feel off the face. Yeah. Well, Matt, you think different, don't you? You think you might feel something? I think I will. I, I want to think that I will. Do you like Arcade Fire? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, Dan's going to dress the man. So you might need to remove the cap, cap hair. Don't panic, Matt. It's still fine. <laughs> <laughs> Looks the same as always. Thank you. Let me check their working and give you a little bit of a temperature check. Yeah. Oh, they Can you start low? They no, I'm just going to start like I did with Dan. I'm twitchy when I when mine come up. Yay! It's a good song, this. Put him. In the suburbs, I learned to drive. And it told me I'd never survive. Okay. You look like, what's he called? Shaw, Shaw Shack, or whatever he's called, out of Watchmen. <laughs> you two don't have a clue what I've just said. Have you? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> the audience know or something. I like the hair. I should be doing it. Maybe I should just do it. a new test. I've just thought of a new test. What's your new test? We should do one with me with just the wig on, not yeah, covering thing. anything, and see if I'm ever any better with hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> doing his hair like a makeup artist. <laughs> Oh, it's so hot under here. Oh, yeah. It does, not it? That's lovely. Oh, he's removing layers. That's Are you ready, Dan? Yeah. Oh, I'll, start, I'll pass the stuff in. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just good. <laughs> oh, I've got an itchy nose. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, don't move. I'm going to put the music on. Are you happy to hit? I'll tap you on the shoulder. It's weird. I feel like I'm even right. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, I thought you two stitched me up by hit lip but me hitting the move, wall. Don't move, don't move. I will turn the music on in a second and I will um, tap you when you can swing. What's That's funny is he doesn't know where he's aiming, even if he's got his eyes open. Yeah, yeah, that falls in the middle of the club, is it? Yeah, bang yeah. on. You look a little far away, bruh. No, I'm good. <laughs> Are you ready for the music? Yes, please. Here we go. Can you hear me? <laughs> Alright, Matt. <laughs> Lockie Army, it's not a real thing, you know that. <laughs> Magic's not real, you know that, don't you? <laughs> Just made it up, and everyone believes it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good hit. Wow. Stay there. So just so the camera could see that, that was obviously a... Okay, yeah. Did you feel anything there, Matt? Turn the music off. Well, I felt contact, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's I, a, that's I, a good I wanna, thing. I want to hit the next one and then I, yeah. I reckon I'll be able to tell. Cool. There you go. Probably Is that good up the no, club? No, 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 no. Right. It's so it's so weird with music on. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you're in the middle of the ball. Don't swing obviously I'll get the music yeah. on. You happy? Yeah. Music going on? Can you hear me? 
I love that. I probably love that. Music's still on. Two good shots. Very really good. <laughs> the cap on there. Did you, did you know you had that on your head? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so hot. I'm yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Let me take that for so I, you can feel it then. I feel like I can feel something there. Go on. I feel like the big one's the second one. The big one was the second one. So the yeah. second one was the cavity. Yeah. And the first one was that. Yeah. Dan, do you remember which way round we hit them? Yeah, it was. This was first, and this was second. So you felt the difference. I think I could feel the difference. In yeah. what way? So this, I don't know how I hit that. Well, I got both shots, I think, this time. Yeah, you, you hit them both. I thought really good. So there's Matt's two shots. I mean, they're almost identical. So I'm very impressed. What do you think you're feeling different? What is it that's doing it? Mm, well, I feel like the second one, I hit more out the middle. Um, so the first strike, I could tell that I, like a low heel, I thought it was. Right. And I think that... A, cab, a bigger club feels different than a blade when you hit different parts. Yeah, 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 yeah. For me. Yeah. Like, if I rip both right out the middle, I probably wouldn't feel so, any difference. Well, let's try again then, because that's a really interesting point. So, what that's was your, interesting that's as your, well is when I brought the club back down, you can feel the weight of it. The head, I think, as well. Okay, well then. Possibly. Well, okay. Let's try again. Right. right, Matt's going back in. He's just saying how much he likes. I like how Dan really gets involved with how the wind looks. <laughs> we'll talk about this in a second because Matt's using senses to not cheat on purpose, but he's doing what all humans do, which is just trying to work out what's going on. So I'm doing something different. I don't want you to waggle the club, Matt. Okay, that's fine. I will. This is AP1. Oh, he's ripped it. He's ripped it, he's ripped it, he's ripped it. <coughs> you right? I've yeah, just caused right. music for one more. One more, yeah. They were two good hits, I don't know if you felt that. First one felt big toe. Did it? For me. One more then. Music's gonna go on. Are you happy? Yeah, is that where I am, yeah? Yeah, you're right by the ball now. Okay. Music coming on. I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit more. You hear me? <laughs> you knocked your cap halfway through that experiment, all for science. So. How we got the now? The first strike felt toey. Yeah. And I would say blade. Okay. And the second two were both good strikes. Second one, don't know. Third one, maybe the cavity. Okay. So as sure as before or less sure now which one was which? Less sure. So why do you think you're less sure now? That's interesting, isn't it? Mm. How can you be less sure? I think because I know I've the answer. Because I've middled two. Yeah? I've middled two. I think the more I miss hit, the better I am. Okay, come on look. <clears throat> I don't know where your strikes are. They did sound good. Oh, line ball. Yeah, you ripped one. So if we go club, Last three are here. Uh, 21 millimeter toe first one, two millimeter high, you're calling blade. So I felt the toe. Okay, that. yeah. Three millimeter toe, six millimeter low on the second to last one, you're calling that. Good. And then a three millimeter heel to one millimeter high, so those two are probably feeling very similar. Yeah, they felt the same, yeah. And which were which? I went blade, cavity, cavity. Okay, so they were all cavity. I didn't swap the club once. Ooh. Sneaky. Interesting. I gave you the same club each time. Yeah. So, 
What do you think now? Obviously, going in, you felt like you could feel. What do you think now? So, forged v cavity, I don't think I can. Or forged v, you mean forged For v unforged yeah, v cast? Cast, yeah, sorry, yeah. I don't think I can. Because I thought that first toe one on the second one was definitely a blade and it definitely wasn't. No, no. You hit it 12 millimeters, <laughs> yeah. so it was definitely you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I love, because, and that's why I do these tests and I love them, is golfers, I see it on tour ranges and I see it in lessons, I see it loads online. This definitely mm. went like this. Yeah. Like this makes me think that equipment is nearly the same whatever you use again. Yeah. <laughs> it like brings it all closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like blade cavity don't matter. But then you then, so you cheated the test a little bit if we think about it because you started to work your, your conceptions or perceptions of one club feeling like it would off the toe to the heel where actually the test is, can you feel if this is forged, forged or, or cast? Yeah. So you then cheated by going, well, cast clubs are cavity. I know yeah. that's cavity. I hit that out of the toe and it felt better off the toe than I think. That's not the question. So no. if that's the question, we would have to make a forge club that has a cavity to get rid of you doing yeah. that cheat. I don't mean cheating as in yeah, that, yeah. but you're just you're yeah. doing what humans do. You're, yeah, I'm trying to we're find blanking you out yeah. and you're trying to find yeah. the answer through many different ways. Mm. I reckon if we just carry on doing that test over and over again, There'll be no it pattern. comes down to 50 50 mm -hmm. on you guessing, yeah. which is like what Dan did. He didn't want to guess, or we said because he didn't, he yeah. couldn't guess. I, I can guess, but then what's the point in doing it? Yeah, yeah. It's not based on. So hard to turn off other inks, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hard, you just try and find an answer. <laughs> when I did, I did this years ago with Gorilla yeah, James, yeah. and I couldn't feel any difference. When yeah. you took this and this away, couldn't feel. Any I think I, because I want, I I want to be able to do it, so I'm wanting to find an answer as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like and, surely I can do this. Yeah, like, but the other thing I've is, I've hit plenty of balls in my life. Like, surely this isn't that hard. I agree. And then the other thing, which is interesting, which I think is such a really good learning message, and uh, like I say, you see it on the tour ranges. You see, when I stand with Liam and we're working with players, you see him have to delicately walk around their whatever you want to call it. Emotion. Ego, ego, emotion, yeah. perception, mm -hmm. ideas of what should happen to try and make sure. Because if you feel you hit it better off the toe with a blade and then everything else, well, we know you can't, uh, sorry, with a cavity and everything else is equal spin rates, you don't get bomb yeah. balls, we forget all those bits obviously, which yeah, yeah, obviously yeah. Yeah. mix in, but forget those. Then why would I fight against that feeling? The mm -hmm. end of the day, what you feel is the most important thing. If yeah. they are the same, that's what's always so yeah. interesting in these conversations. If they are the same, mm -hmm. then you can't argue that this. Like, yeah, if you want to use that one, that's yeah. cool. Because <laughs> yeah. they're the same. It makes no difference. Yeah, yeah. Um, where if you definitely feel that the blade, I just like the feel of that blade. Mm -hmm. Really, what people are dying into, dialing into, is the lofts the lengths. So in the second one, and this is a flaw in our test, which Matt worked out very quickly, they're not sw uh, swing weighted the same. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that for a fact, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be. And even physically weighted the same probably, because the heads have got away differently. Yeah. You felt the heavier one when you bring down. Bring so on the down, same test, yeah. I was trying to jump At the it start, out. start, like, even when I was waggling, couldn't feel any different though. Yeah. It was literally only when I went And like then when you this, bring it down. Yeah. And I feel that with my six to my six. Yeah. The chunkier one does feel a bit heavier. Yeah. Which at the moment I don't mind, but if that plays in my mind over time, I'll just take it back to the title and say, can we get this weight into yeah, so it? Yeah, feels yeah. the same. Um, but it, it's always bringing the, cons the perceptions and then trying to get the best out of the player for what yeah. they are. It's so interesting. Yeah, it's, it's good, isn't good it? Good test. Yeah, 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 yeah. Try it home. RK5, bro. <laughs> Post comments down below, let me know what you think of the test, let me know if that surprises you or not, definitely for me and kind of all of us now, sound is just kind of defining factor and for me the biggest lesson from this 
experiment for want of a better word. Golf is full of cliches, like full of them. And if the right person says the cliche, then lots believe it. And that just seems a real shame. We're gonna do more videos like this. Press comments down below if you feel like you wanna see more of this. Let's just keep trying to push this forward, shall we?